While exploring the Detroit River, I came across a beautiful island and soon discovered its dark secret. Heron nests. And to my horror, in almost every single nest, young birds are brutally attacking and killing each other. Later that night on the internet, I discovered this is called siblicide. I contacted Dr. Kevin McGowan, an ornithologist and behavioral ecologist at Cornell, to find out why this was happening. Do herons engage in siblicide? And I guess, could you tell me a little bit about what that behavior is and why they do it. Herons definitely engage in siblicide. Uh, not all species, perhaps, but certainly, uh, were you watching great blue herons? Yeah, on the Detroit River. Yeah, definitely great blue herons do. Not always. Uh, it doesn't happen in all colonies, but it certainly has been recorded as, as occurring in many colonies. Um, and the basics of it is the, the idea that the, uh, there may not be enough food to, to raise all three young uh, and uh, they contest it, they, they fight it out, uh, and, and the weaker chick often dies. Doesn't always die, but it, it often does. It's a, a cold, hard, cruel world out there. And lots of things happen that uh, make us uncomfortable, but that's the way the world works because it works. Um, and there's a, this idea of um, insurance young. This isn't just in herons, but in a number of, of species where it's the idea is, well, lay a few more eggs than you think you might be able to, uh, to support. And then if it's a really good year, you get bonus kids. If it's a bad year, meh, they'll just kill each other off. The smallest is is there to survive if it's a good year and not if it's not. This is sort of a good lesson to not anthropomorphize because you see these parents, the, the heron parents, sitting over their chicks as they're pecking each other to death, completely not intervening at all. And it makes you realize their emotional state and what's going on with them is not uh, not equivalent to what is going on with us. Yep, that's a very good lesson to, to learn. And that's it's a difficult one for us because natural selection has created these organisms that are surviving quite well. And they do it by having, they may have their own emotions. I mean, they're built of the same sort of uh, muscle fibers and nerve fibers that we are. So there's no reason to think that they don't have some kind of emotion, um, but it's not the same as ours. Siblicide in herons isn't a uh, isn't a routine thing. It happens sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't happen. So I guess when I see it happening here in this environment uh, on the Detroit River, and it looks like it's happening in a lot of different nests, does that say something about the availability of food? I would think it does. That, uh, that these sorts of strategies usually are employed when. Um, the food is is not plentiful, and if there's a lot of food, then they keep feeding each other. You know, get feed all the kids, and it's it's not that much of a problem. I'm Coulter Stewart. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel, The Wild Where You Are, so you don't miss any of our new videos.